BMU TV next to Cameron, so have you ever fancied being a TV presenter? Actually, I've always wanted to be a TV quiz show host. Have you? What, what kind of a quiz show would you do? One with big prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's BMU TV. <laughs> Mom, get off the extension. I can't hear what. We're start. We're starting. Oh, get off. okay. Oh, bye. We'll see you Sunday. Bye. Bye. Well, of course it's nice and quiet here in. Okay, it's fixed now. Is it? Oh, it's working. Yeah, it's all fine. It was just broken up. There, one more. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> start. 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 I'm, the show. I'm starting. It's all right. Yes, Emu TV. And here's your favorite program. All right, mister. Yeah? You better not cross that line. I dare you to step over it. Okay. Let's see if you'll step over that line, then. <laughs> All right, well, how about this line? Oh, yeah, well, here's another line. Here, yeah, how about this line? Okay. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Here is the news from EMU-TV, viewers. They always do this on the real news, don't they? <clears throat> At the Innovative Inventors Fair held today, First prize was won by Ralph Harvey for his automatic teaspoon that revolved at high speed. It caused quite a stir. And that joke was sent in by one of the viewers. Continuing with the news, a large truck had a puncture on the 401 today and lost its whole load of 250 tons of sandpaper. Police had to drag it off. They said everything went smoothly. Uh, a man who, who was charged with falling down a well last week had his case dismissed on grounds of insufficient evidence. The man said he didn't know it was a well, he'd never seen a well before, and in fact couldn't tell a well from a hole in the ground. And that's the end of the news from EMU TV. Find the life out of me.
Well, coming up now is our series all about life in prison called Grim Walls. And, hey, Amy, I've got an idea. Why don't we play some music behind the announcements like they do on the real television, eh? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> well, not as loud as that. We don't want it. And after that, we got, of course, we're going to have a serial court, high court, and we've got our new stuffy, our serial. And after the serial, we're going to have a program called Up Your Garden. I'll tell you what that's about. And it's going to be a cribbage and shit. Will you stop it? All right, Bugsy, we know you're up there. Okay, Muggsy, we got you completely surrounded now. Are you coming down? Okay, we're coming up after you. And now it's time for our thrilling medical series. I'm in this, so I'll let you do it. Amy. Switch it. Wait till I get over there. Amy. Amy, how long has that been bothering you? Well, it's weird the way it happened. About a month ago, I was coming down the stairs and I slipped and I fell down on this banana peel. And my wife came over and she said, yes, I don't doctor, know what's wrong, but I doctor, think you like broke your ankle. And I said, I don't this, think please? it's the ankle. I think it's the knee because she Just was... be quiet, please, in a minute. Oh, it's the knee, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Oh! It's definitely water on the knee, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Could I have some, please? Yes, I'll do it again. of antipathy put to fly, Robbo, Croc, Rod and Emu are all set to go back to work. Watch on. Oh, oh well, oh, that's yes. that then, isn't it, right? Yeah, 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 let's get back to the pink windmill, shall we? Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, won't take us long to make up that rocket fuel, you know, because no. I've got some crystals left, and all I shall need is some of Emu's cabbage water, and then we can be away. Oh! We oh. forgot Mrs. Cobbags. Hey. Look, there she is down there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here, look at her. Look at her. Oh, oh, look. She's heading straight for the bottomless pit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Mrs. Uh, Cobbags. Stop, turn around. Hey. Come on, hey. help. Hey. Help. Hey. help. 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 She's gone. Oh, Mrs. Cobbags. Oh, God! Oh, no! Help! 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 Oh, no! 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 Help! 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 Oh, here, help. your ladyship, Mrs. Oh. Godbank, whatever's the matter? Oh, the bottomless pit! What? Where? Oh. You wouldn't say there isn't one? No. And we're not on the planet anti antiperspirant. And there's no aliens or, or no goblins. No. Here, yeah, you've been asleep all afternoon. Yes. You must have had a nightmare. Yeah. Here, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll run you a nice hot bath, eh? Oh, yes. oh and look. Um, I'll put in it some of your favourite crystals. <laughs> no, Grubble, no. It was the crystals that started it all. Oh, Grubble, I'm so pleased to see you. And you, my dear crop. Oh! We must go down to the pink windmill and make certain that Streaky Bonehead and Little Emi Weemi are all right. Oh, it's so good, friends! We haven't got a tuppenny piece to buy a cup of tea, but we've got... We've got... ...camaraderie. The roses people see in their cheeks aren't what they used to be, but we've got... We've got... ...camaraderie. We have 
haven't got the bonny physiques we had at 23. But we've got, we've got camaraderie. You're looking at a couple of blokes who seem to be compatibility. Give us things, bread and cheese, lots of love, lots of love. Our future is as plain as ABC. It's ABC, A-M-A-R-A-D-E-R-I-E, and that spells... We'll be right back after this important message. Nous sommes de retour immédiatement après ce message important. Hey, head music. The Lion Boys Turn around and face, face the viewers. The Lion Boys Club. Well done. There's a hundred pounds. I'm so proud of you. I could cry. And now for one of EMU TV's very own homemade programs. High Court. <laughs> Mr. Shavog, perhaps you will explain to the court in your own words exactly what happened that night. I was, I was sitting in a bar minding my own business, and when I, I heard this commotion, so I looked up, and there were two guys, and they got into this big fight. And well, I'm not a, exactly macho or anything, but I, well, I jumped between them, 
You jumped between them. Right between the two guys. The two. Yeah, right. And they were big guys, too. And but one you guy. You jumped between them. The two guys. Mm. I jumped between them. And one guy, I didn't see it. He pulls out a gun. Right? A big gun. And the gun went off. Ba boom! Excuse me. How, how did it go? It just went ba boom! Like that. Ba boom! Big, no. loud noise. And really? Well, a bullet went through me. Yes. You can see it right over here? Let's have a look. Right there. Did you show the court? Yes. Went through me. Yes. All the way through, came out the other side. Just a minute. How do we know it came out the other side? Oh. Well, there. Can you see? Oh, yes. OK. Well, came out the, the court. other side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Other side, and then killed the guy behind me. No. Yes, Your Honor, and that's what happened. Five years in jail. Five years? But why? Well, you're an accessory before the fact, you see. It was only through you the other guy got shot. I only through you the other guy got shot. <laughs> I love coming to this. <laughs> And now, a special fill-in program. This is to fill in between the program that you've just seen and the one you're going to see after this next one. Hi, 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 Kitty Winks. This is the door with spots all over it, and today I'm going to tell you a really special story. This is the story of Prinderella and the Sins. <clears throat> Once upon a while, there was a gritty little pearl named Prinderella. Prinderella had two cycling esters and a wicked swept mother made her wean the clindles, flub the scorn, pine all the shots and shans. Wasn't that a shirty dame? Well, one day the ping ordered a proclamation that all eligible earls were invited to a Drancy Fest ball. Prinderella couldn't go. She didn't have a Drancy Fest, but only a rurdy dag that fit and did. Wasn't that a shirty dame? Well, who should appear then but Prinderella's Gary Fine Mother? In an eyeling of a twink, she turned the cumpkin into a poach, the heises into morrises, and the rurdy dag into a Drancy Fest. But warn Prinderella she must be back by the mocha strid night. Well, Prinderella went to the dance and pranced all night with the synths. Then suddenly, at the Mocha Strid night, Prinderella was running down the Stalus peps and slopped her dripper. Wasn't that a shirty dame? Well, next day, the ping ordered another proclamation that all eligible earls must sly on the tripper. Prinderella cycle like Easter sly on the tripper and it fit and did. But then Prinderella sly the tripper and it fit did. Well, Prinderella married the synths, lived happily ever after. That wasn't such a shirty dame, was it? Thank you. Hi. That's a pretty wonderful orchestra, isn't it? Well, welcome to this, the last, last night show in the present series. And let's get like, straight on and welcome our very first guest. And our first guest... That? The roses people see in their cheeks aren't what they used to be, but we've got, we've got camaraderie. Got the bonny physiques we had at 23, but we've got, we've got camaraderie. You're looking at a couple of blokes whose secret seems to be compatibility. Give us things, bread and cheese, lots of love, lots of love. Our future is as plain as ABC. It's A B C A M A R A D E R I E, and that spells camaraderie. Floppy shoes, but do we sing the blues? No, no sorry, it's ABC. It's ABC, A-M-A-R. 